Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this pretty springtime cushion. And what I like about this cushion is it's great for using up all your scraps of fabric. So this is made using bonded applique. So what you're going to need for this project is a piece of background fabric. So I've got white fabric and you're going to need that to be a 16 inch square. You can make it bigger or smaller. And then this border fabric, this pretty fabric here, that is a two and a half inch strip. So first of all, we're going to make this design. And what I like about this is it reminds me of the flowers that I used to draw as a child. So you could put flowers, birds, bees, butterflies, anything you want on it. I've put a few buttons to decorate the center of my flowers and you don't have to be a great artist to make this. So just be brave, have fun and have a go. So we're going to draw onto some Bondaweb for our flowers. <clears throat> so you can use Bondaweb or Heat and Bond. So the Heat and Bond is slightly thicker. So if you were tracing a design, sometimes it's harder to trace because the paper side is thicker and then it's got a glue side. Bondaweb is great because it's like tracing paper and that's got a glue side. So you always need to draw on the smooth side. So I have drawn very roughly a butterfly on the smooth side. And just a little tip to make sure your butterfly is equal is to fold your paper in half and just cut it round so it's, its wings are equal and then open it out and then you can trace or draw round it. So I've done already, I've done a flower so you can see that I've drawn that and with Bondaweb or Heat and Bond you don't cut out on your line, you roughly cut around your line and then once you've stuck it to the reverse of your fabric, so the piece of Bondaweb, that is the glue side, goes onto the reverse of your fabric and you press that on. So I've already done one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna cut that out on the line so this is our proper shape now. And then I'm going to iron that onto my background fabric. So I just have to break the back of the bonder web. So I'm just going to get a pin to do that. I'm breaking the back of the bonder web and carefully peeling it away. So this is leaving the glue on the back of my fabric. And then I'm going to press that onto my cushion. So I've also done a stem. So here's one that I've done earlier. And what I would do is I would cut out all my pieces and have them all prepped like this before I went to the iron because that way you can lay them out where you want them to be. So I'm just taking the back off of this one. And then I'm going over to the iron. And what I would do is, I'll just move that out of the way so you can see it a bit better. What I would do is I would lay all my pieces. So say I want this as my center flower, just make sure I've got the right side of my fabric. I'm not going right to the edge because I don't want it to um, get lost in the seam. So I'm just gonna put that on there and pop my flower on there. I've also got some leaves and a little center piece. 
So I would lay everything out before I pressed anything. So I'm just going to put that little centerpiece on my flower. And I'm going to put a leaf as well. And as I say, the great thing with this is you don't have to be a fantastic artist and I'm certainly not that. So they're very naive drawings. So I might just tuck that leaf just behind the stem like that. And if I'm happy with that layout, then I take my iron and I carefully press it into place. Let's move just slightly. So very carefully press it into place and the heat of the iron attaches your fabric to your background. So we're going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to just so show you how to sew that onto your cushion. So I'm fortunate that I've got a sewing machine that does a beautiful blanket stitch. So I've set the machine up and I've got white thread underneath and I've got my pink thread on top and I've moved the needle over. So the edge of this foot here is gonna be the guide to follow the flower around. Now, if you haven't got a machine that does this, you can do a zigzag stitch or you could just hand blanket stitch around just to hold this down. Because it's a cushion, you want to make sure this is stitched down. So otherwise the glue will eventually lift in time. So I'm going to put my needle in where I want the edge of my blanket stitch to be. And very carefully, I'm going to sew around the edge of my flower. And what I need to do is make sure I stop with my needle down and I stop at the end of a stitch. So I'm just lifting the foot carefully and I'm moving it round. And if you've got a machine with a knee lift, this is perfect because you can keep stopping and starting and carefully moving your fabric underneath the needle. So I'm going to stop there for today and I'm just going to show you what that stitch looks like. Let me just cut that thread a minute. Should have been prepared with a pair of scissors really but I'll just cut that thread and then I can show you a close-up of that stitch so you can see you've got this beautiful blanket stitch going around the edge and I would do the same with green I would change my thread to green and then I would change my thread to blue to go around that so it does give a lovely effect if you've got a nice applique stitch on your machine. So we're just gonna go back over and talk about the other things that are on the cushion. So as you can see, I've finished all of this with a blanket stitch. I've put a little bit of wadding behind here and to keep the wadding in place, I've sewn the buttons through. So actually sewing buttons through the layers forms part of a quilting and also I've embroidered the little antennas on here using two strands of DMC thread and that's gone through the wadding layer as well just to hold it in place. So there's lots you can do. I've just done a really simple envelope back for it. And as I say, just decorated it with a nice florally fabric around the edge. So there's just an idea of things you can do to make a springtime cushion. So as always, make it your own, have fun, and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.